Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the first playoff appearance here in the Denver Bears franchise. This team has came a long way, and we've made some moves at the deadline. We've done some building across the years that have now led us up to this moment to face the Washington Nationals in the NL Wild Card game. The Nationals have the best hitting team in baseball. They are our number one ranked in batting average, number two in on base percentage. This will be a very tough game. Josh Fuentes did get hurt that last week of the season, so we will have to fill in a hole at third base. So what we're actually going to do in this game, it could hurt us defensively, but we will move Garrett Hampson to shortstop. He can play shortstop. We will move him there. He's hitting very well. And then move CJ Abrams over to third base. So I think that this is the move that we have to go with right now. We're kind of shorthanded. We do have some guys off of the bench, but I like this lineup. We need to kind of go toe to toe with these guys. Trey Turner, Juan Soto, Devers, Josh Bell, Brandon Lowe, all hitting phenomenal this year. We definitely need to keep up with their offense. A guy I moved up for the playoffs is Zion Storm. He is an excellent base runner. I thought that this would be a good move. He's actually a pretty good fielder. I didn't really realize that until now, but he is actually very, very good in that department. And then Justin Maxwell is added to the playoff roster as well as another arm. I'm not sure he will pitch in this game. Probably not. So the pitching matchup here is Trevor Bauer, their ace versus Luis Severino, our ace. Severino's having a career year, one of the best years of his career. So let's get this wild card game underway as Benito Ozuna leads us off, but he will strike out there as Bauer strikes out the first batter of the game. That brings up Mohamed Willingham who watches one out, out of the zone and that one will be on the corner. So the next pitch we will swing at. Now I probably would have took that pitch if that previous call wasn't a strike because that one may have been on the corner, may have been questionable, but we don't get the call and Jesse Winker strikes out and how about Bauer striking out the first three batters of the game? Let's see if we can keep that streak going here with Severino on the mound. He does get Trey Turner to lead off with a strikeout, but that brings up Victor Robles, who goes up the middle, and that does end it. That will be a hit to center field as they now have a man on first base with Juan Soto coming to the plate. One of the best hitting guys in baseball. He won the uh, MVP in the All-Star game a couple of years ago, if you remember that, and now he hits in the three spot trying to get his team back into the playoff mix in the NLDS. And this one is hit deep, right over the middle of the plate, back to the wall, and Will Benson will jump and snag it at the wall. Look at how close this was to going over. That probably would have hit off of the top of the wall, if not bounced over. I'm not sure, but Benson, an excellent fielder, was there. So now Devers comes to the plate, but how about Robles trying to swipe second, and that will be... A nice pick off that time by Marshawn as we move on to the top of the second inning as this is Keston Hira at the plate in a diving stop this time from Robles. We'll knock it down, but it looks like we will get into second base with a leadoff double by Keston Hira. He's having an excellent season. Will Benson at the plate hitting in the five spot this game where Josh Fuentes usually hits, but that one will be a strikeout, his fourth of the game. Garrett Hampson at the plate. He waits back on the knuckle curve, and that one will be a fly out to right field. But we will tag up here. A nice throw to third base, but it won't be in time. But now we have a chance with a base hit to take the lead here. one nothing. as that brings up C.J. Abrams hitting around 260 this year. He swings at one, and that one will be a strike three on the swing slider over the middle of the plate. And now we move into the third inning, 0-0. Severino on the mound is still pitching pretty good. He gets a strikeout on that one. That brings up Jackson Reitz to the plate. He swings that one out of the zone, but Garrett Hampson is there. He covers a lot of ground with his speed. Maybe not the best fielder, but that makes it two outs. Trevor Bauer at the plate. Right to Hampson also, and that one will be a clean, accurate throw to first base. So 0-0 through three innings now, and it looks like it's going to be a pitcher duel, pitcher's duel early, and that brings up Mohamed Willingham. He strikes out again. That's Bauer's sixth strikeout of the game. That's going to bring up Winker, who hits one hard up the middle, but that one would have been right into the shift anyway. Two outs here in the fourth, and that brings up Hira. 
He is one for one. He gets a nice pitch low, but that one will just be a fly out to center field. And if we can't get a run across the plate. We had a man on third base last inning, but not this time. As that moves us to the top of the fourth inning. Here is Trey Turner at the plate. This one is a hard, a soft ground ball up the middle. Thrown on the first, and it will be a infield singer for, single for Trey Turner. With that 97 speed, you got to watch him. He's going to swipe this bag. He will take off. And that one was easy. And the throw was not even close to being on time. As Robles continues this at bat now, and he will strike out on the outside slider. Definitely what you want on that pitch. Juan Soto back at the plate now, who almost hit a home run earlier. He will walk on this one, bringing up Devers. But now we have a double play situation to get out of this inning. Devers. 2-1 count will fly this one deep to left center. Ozuna giving chase. This one keeps carrying, and he will be under that one. And Trey Turner actually stops at second, does not tag up. I'm surprised he didn't run with that 97 speed. So that brings up Josh Bell, who's hitting in the fifth spot for them. He gets a pitch over the middle and strokes it to right center. That one will get to the wall. Will Benton will come up throwing. He does have to take a crow hop to the uh, cutoff man, and the throw hole will not be in time. Soto scores from first in a 2-0 lead here for the Nationals as Josh Bell comes through. He's hitting over 300 this year, one of the best years of his career. Brandon Lowe at the plate here in the sixth spot. He goes to left field as well, and that one gets to the wall. Another double here for the Nationals here in the fourth inning. 3-0 game with two outs still. And Severino giving up a couple of hits. Now he faces the next batter, J.J. Blede, who comes to the mound, and that one will be a ground ball to C.J. Abrams. And Blede will ground out, and that one ends this inning. So the Nationals take a 3-0 lead as Bauer is still on the mound, and here he gives one to Will Benson right over the middle, and Will Benson just kind of misses it, and it stays in the yard and that one will be caught. I'm surprised Benson just hit that foul and barely missed it. That one should have been absolutely crushed. C.J. Abrams at the plate on a 2-2 count, goes to left field. That one should get to the wall, will be a double. So now we have a man on second base once again in scoring position. Let's see if we can get him home as C.J. Abrams makes it in the second with good speed as that brings up Marshawn to the play one for one in this game so far, and he swings that one low. The cutter, Bauer is so good because of his uh, pitch speeds. Every single pitch changes speeds. It's, it's incredible. Trey Turner at the plate now. He hits one deep to left center. This one will get to the wall. And with that 97 speed, he does get into second with a double. So with two outs, they have a man on second base. Let's see if they can convert here. We are just in this scenario as Luis Severino faces Victor Robles, and Robles goes to opposite field. Benson will come up throwing. He has an excellent arm from right, but it will be not in time. Four to nothing here for the Washington Nationals. They have been electric on offense this entire year. Nothing has changed here in the wild card game. So we go to the bullpen and finally pull Luis Severino. We maybe could have done it with before this at bat, but I thought Severino could get us out of that. And Rivas comes in to face his lefty batters at the plate. This one's hard to the right side, and that one will get through. And the runner was on the move on that one, so he will make it to third base as Soto gets that one past Willingham. Got to knock that one down. Rafael Devers to the plate now, and he just absolutely smokes one down the right field line. That gets to the wall. It scores one. 5 nothing. Will Benson with a good arm gets it into the cutoff man. But they take a commanding 5-0 lead here in the bottom of the fifth inning. As that brings up Josh Bell, we will keep Rivas in the game, and he does get him to fly out. Kira in short right field. That one will be the third out of the inning. The Bears have some ground to make up now as the, Trevor Bauer is still in the game as that brings up Jorge Polanco who did pinch hit for Rivas and he will walk. So that brings the top of our lineup back to the plate. That's Benito Ozuna 0 for 2 so far in this game. He gets an inside pitch and turns on it. Will this get down? And it will. So now we have, a, have men on first and second. It's a good start to this inning here in the sixth, but the guys you want up at the plate are coming up. And first is Mohamed Willingham. He watches one on the inside part, and that one will be ball four. 
bases loaded with the man we signed in the offseason for this moment right here. Jesse Winker, bases loaded, no outs, 2-1 pitch over the middle. It's going to be a ground ball and a double play. Not the outcome we were looking for. We do get one run, but we need five here. We were definitely looking for an extra base hit. Here at the plate now with the man on third base. Will strike out high heat by Bauer. And we only get one run in that inning. We go to the bullpen, and the first guy we bring out is Atlas Luntich. He is a starter, yes, I know, but we want to kind of get guys who can get outs. And Atlas Luntich, that's what he is good at. He gets outs. And that one will be a fly ball in the infield. Mohamed Willingham, one out. J.J. Blade at the plate. He goes to left field. That one will get past Ozuna in center and get to the wall. And Blade will round second, head to third. And that one will not be in time. J.J. Blade with a triple. Benito Ozuna has got to knock that down. That brings up the next batter here. Fly ball to left field. Winker. It looks like the runner might tag up. He will. The throw offline. Six to one. That one run we just got last inning did not matter. Atlas Luntich continues to pitch here. We don't go to our bullpen, but we do get the third out of the inning. Wow. Plays like that. Benito Ozuna in center field needed to cut off that ball and see what happens. A run comes across the plate. Six to one game as we go into the seventh inning now, and that's going to be a leadoff single. Will Benson continues to hit the ball well. Garrett Hampson back at the plate facing Austin Voth, who they went to in the bullpen, and that one will be a single to center field. We will not test the arm. We wanted to see if there was an overthrow at all. It's online, but now guys on first and second. C.J. Abrams, who had a double earlier. Ground ball up the middle. Not another double play. To second, to first, and the throw was offline. Good slide by Hampson breaking up that uh, double play as that brings up Rafael Marchand. Runners on the corners here. Let's see if he comes through. And that one will be a short fly ball to left field. Juan Soto giving chase. And he dives and has it. And he throws home as well. And that will probably save a run, maybe two. If he wouldn't have had that, it could have bounced past him. But Juan Soto comes up with the catch. And he is shaken up on the play. So he will be had to he will have to come out of the game. The Washington Nationals go to the bullpen as well, bringing Hansel Robles. And that one will prompt us to pinch hit in this situation. We bring in Brendan Rodgers, who was actually having a very good year, hitting 267. I trust him in this situation, hitting for our pitcher. So guys on the corners here, Rodgers, one, two count, gets one over the middle, takes this one deep off of the wall in right field. We will send the second runner. That's C.J. Abrams, 89 speed, will score from first. A six to three game now. It is now interesting here in the seventh inning. The top of our lineup comes to the plate now. Here is Ozuna, but he just breaks his bat, and it will be a tapper in front of the mound. Six to three game. We get a couple of runs back, though. So we move on to the seventh inning. Here is Trey Turner at the plate. Nick Goody on the mound. He hits one to short, and that one gets over the glove of Garrett Hampson. And look at this. Throw to second, and look at the hustle by Trey Turner. Gets in for the double. Ozuna should have got there a little sooner. I think we could have had him at second base. Garrett Hampson playing short today. Maybe if Abrams was there, that could have probably been a catch. Because Abrams is only five foot eight, I believe Abrams is six foot two. So we do get the ground out that time, but Trey Turner moves over to third, and this is the scenario that they wanted. Trey Turner gets on base, uses his wheels, and then scores on a sacrifice fly. It's seven to three in favor of the Nationals, and these little plays are making the difference in this game. Is that brings up Bell? He drives one deep to right field, but it looks like this one will not have the legs. Will Benson camps under that fly ball. So now in the eighth inning, they go to Grant Gavin out of the bullpen. It doesn't look like he's maybe appeared in any games this year. So surprising to see that they actually went to him. He will face Mo Willingham at the plate, and Willingham goes to right field, starting out this eighth inning with a single. And now at least we have a guy on first base here with no outs. Jesse Winker at the plate. He fouls one off to the left side, bringing it to a 2-2 count. Inside pitch, curveball, bringing it to 3-2 now. 
And the pitch is on right over the middle of the plate. Winker does not miss. This one is gone. Five to seven now. Winker 396 off of the bat. And that one will bring us within two runs. But those previous defensive plays we had earlier are starting to come back to bite us. It could have been a tie ball game at this point. But Winker brings us within two at least. We still have no outs in this inning. That brings up Keston Hira. And I love facing right-handed pitching with Hira. But it's just a ground ball to first base. They go to the bullpen and bring in Brad Hand. He is having a not-so-good year, 1-7-1 whip. But they trust him in this situation. Facing Garrett Hampson, who drives one deep to left center. That one will get to the wall, and it will get over the glove of Allen, who is subbing in for Soto. And it looks like Hampson makes it all the way to third on the deep fly ball to left field. And now we have a man on third base once again. Come on, Abrams. We need you here. One for three in the game, and he will swing and miss. A little anx anxious in that box there. And now it's a 5-7 to seven deficit going into the ninth inning. They bring in their closer, Wando, Wander Suero. And let's see if he can shut us down. Here is Marshawn at the plate. Good timing, good contact, just the fly ball. One out here in the top of the ninth inning. They are two outs away from advancing to the NLDS. For Nick Goody, we decide to go to Hitor Takahashi. Takahashi has proven to be really, really clutch in this series, especially in pinch hit situations, so I'm trusting him here. One out. This is going to be a chopper to short. It will be a tough play with Hitor. He has that 92 speed, and Trey Turner cannot handle that one. It will rule it a base hit. Benito Ozuna at the plate next. No, no, ground ball. This one could end it to second, to first, and Ozuna has the speed to at least beat out the throw. But now that brings up Mo Willingham, our future and our present. The guy that we are depending on to be our star of this series. He is one for three in this game. He could either be the game ending run or the game tying run coming to the plate. And he faces Suero, his 12th pitch of the at bat. 2 1 count over the middle. He goes up the box and it's a single. And now we have men on first and second here. Two outs and Winker, who already homered earlier in this game, will come to the plate with the opportunity to make history here in Denver. Let's see what he does. Guys on first and second now for Winker. This one will be swung on and miss, bringing it to a 2-2 count. That one's low in the dirt. Now it's a 3-2 count. Runners will be on the move here and a hanger, and he will foul that one off. That one was ball four. 3-2 count again. Suero over the middle, hard hit to the right side. It's knocked down by Bell. Flip to first, and that will do it Josh Bell with a game saving diving stop and the bear season will come to an end off of that play right there this game was crazy a lot closer than what it looked like because the Nationals really did have a couple of innings where they teed off in the fourth and the fifth innings but man we were that close. We had more hits than them. We had 12 hits in this game. We just came along a little too late. And like I said, a couple of defensive lapses in this game, like Hira. There was a chopper to second base. Hira couldn't get to it. That fly ball to center field, and Benito Ozuna took the wrong angle, and it turned into a triple. Those are the small plays. That was a run scored. And then also that hard hit ball to the right side of Willingham kind of let that one go to him a little ole. And then giving up that double to Trey Turner when it was a short liner to center field. Benito Ozuna has got to get a better jump on that. And we end up losing this game. Five to seven heartbreak here on the road. And that will end our season. Crazy how some things bounce, but, man, what can you do? Man, it was an excellent season by the Bears. We made it to the playoffs only to lose in that one game wild card. And, wow, Washington will go on to play the New York Mets. The Dodgers are in the other side of the NLDS as well. They face the Cubs. Cleveland and the Angels make it. And then Oakland beats Boston in the wild card game. Oakland will face New York in the ALDS as well. 
So that's going to do it for season number four. I think next episode, what I want to do is recap season four and talk about the moves we probably want to make or maybe want to make. I'm not sure exactly. We'll talk about that in that episode, but the bears come up just short. So we'll see you next time. Hit subscribe, hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.